In this video, we'll take a look at how you can use Cloudera's Quick Start Docker image. Now, you might already be aware that Cloudera provides a Quick Start VM, and uh, that's proven quite popular um, when you're getting started with um, Hadoop and Big Data. And as an alternative to using the VM, uh, you can actually use the, the Docker image. Now, the Docker image is, in my opinion, a lot faster, uh, it's easier to set up, uh, it's much more nimble and lightweight, and particularly if you, if you need to test out environments where you're creating and disposing of these environments fairly often, Docker, the quick start uh, from Cloudera over Docker is a great first choice. Uh, now, to get started, it's uh, really simple. Um, the steps to uh, set it up is fairly straightforward. Uh, there's already a blog uh, from Cloudera that outlines what you need to do, but um, uh, this video intends to simplify that even further or just gives you a quick bird's eye view of the steps that you need to perform. So um, I'm assuming that you've already got Docker up and running. If not, you can take a look at one of my previous videos um, and uh, install Docker. So first step is uh, after you've installed Docker is uh, to get the latest uh, quick start image from uh, Cloudera and once you have uh, downloaded the image uh, we will quickly run that image um, and then finally once the image is running and um, all the required services have been uh, started uh, we will finally uh, take a look at the running instance by accessing queue. Uh, so step one is uh, to uh, get the latest um, image so you can go over uh, make sure that you have docker running uh, docker whoops uh, ah sorry uh, that was uh, double b double dash so i do have docker running so i'm uh, on currently on version 1.11 so first step is to Alright, so the first step is to uh, pull the latest image, so make sure that uh, again you have docker running, so verify by going to docker and version, uh, so I've got version 1.11 running and uh, you can run this command here, so pull, paste that there, I'm not going to run that because um, I've already pulled uh, the latest version and uh, the latest version uh, is uh, quite uh, uh, quite big so it uh, it'll take a while to download so at that point in time when I downloaded the image it's about uh, 6 GB so it can take about an hour or so depending on your bandwidth um, and uh, network settings um, but give it a, a good amount of time and that image uh, should be installed and you can access it locally so once uh, you have the image uh, uh, pulled. The next step is to actually run that image and uh, here just to explain what's happening. So running that image, uh, providing the host a name that is uh, uh, the, uh, the container, uh, the name of that uh, server, setting it to quickstart.cloudera. Uh, this is a prerequisite that you need to set it uh, privilege is equal to true and here we are running it uh, interactively in the shell so uh, the dash t and dash i and, and then finally what we are doing is we are mapping some of the ports so this is the port for hue and uh, the port we are mapping the port to the host uh, and again we are uh, using port 80 so that's a quick uh, quick guide and getting started from Cloudera so we are mapping the two ports uh, we are using the name of, uh, I mean, we are using this uh, image here, and then finally we need to run uh, the Docker quick start script. So let's run that. And this can take a while, so um, before it uh, finishes um, running. So I'm going to pause the video here and um, we'll resume once um, the script has uh, fully completed. So it should take about maybe about three to four minutes at least before the scripts are uh, complete. Okay, so now all the required services and demons have been run and um, we are here at the command prompt and um, so everything's all set. Since we've uh, mapped the ports over, so that's uh, the port for Hue, we can directly access Hue from the host uh, container, I'm sorry, the, the host uh, machine, so here we can uh, 
Okay, let's just give that a couple of seconds. Localhost, uh, let's run localhost as well. So, as you can see, it, uh, it, it does take a couple of seconds. Again, the service was uh, just started. So we can see that we now can access um, uh, Hue here and um, the, welcome, uh, the welcome page with some tutorials. Um, so again, uh, keep in mind that the username password uh, for Docker is exactly the same as the Quick Start VM. So that's Cloud Error and Cloud Error again. So there we go. So all good to go. So you now have access to Hue and uh, for any of the other uh, Hadoop and Spark commands you can uh, obviously access it uh, uh, from the prompt here, from the shell. So that's a wrap for this video. So in summary we have um, used Docker to uh, gain access to the quick start uh, Docker image from, from Cloudera. So thanks everyone for watching. Do subscribe and like for future updates.